What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the spoiler review for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Spoilers, no spoiler free here. This will be completely spoiler filled. And this is a direct follow up to Toll Pooper's classic 1974 film. And this is directed by David Lou Garcia. It's coming to us with a screenplay from Chris Thomas Devlin and the story by Fede Alvarez, Rodo Siegas, and this is starring Sarah Yarkin, Elsie Fisher, Mark Burnham, Jacob Lattimore, Mo Dunford, Owen Ferrari, Alice Craig, Jessica Elaine, and Neil Hudson. Now, this film is set 50 years after that original classic film by Tobe Hooper, and it revolves around the character of Melody, who is portrayed by Sarah Yarkin, and her entrepreneur friends, and her sister Lila, who is portrayed by Elsie Fisher. They will make up our final girls for this newest entry into this franchise, and they all are traveling to a small town of Harlow, Texas, with hopes of renovating the area as it relates to this business venture that Melody has going on with her business partner, who's a part of the group of friends, Dante, who's played by Jacob Lattimore. And their arrival ends up reawakening the deadly Leatherface, who is portrayed this time around uh, not by Gunnar Hansen, who I still would say is the best Leatherface out of the bunch. But he's portrayed by Mark Burnham, very dominant and very... Uh, resourceful i guess I, i'll say and agile in his portrayal of leatherface so a good leatherface here so their arrival reawakens leatherface who begins to slaughter the newcomers meanwhile the sole survivor of leatherface's killing spree in 1973 sally hardesty re-emerges to take down the murderer so i will start off by saying that i really enjoyed this movie and i do like it uh it's probably one of my favorite texas chainsaw entries to date this is the most recent to date and this again is following in the pattern of what we've been seeing with the halloween series what we've been seeing the scream series poke fun at while not entirely doing that where you're be having a legacy sequel or a requel if you want to call it that so i'll just start off by saying what i found to be the biggest problems with this movie my biggest problem with this movie is going to be found in the character of sally herself sally yes sally hurtesty who was our final girl from the original texas chainsaw movie we find out that she had spent the last 50 years as a texas ranger trying to find leatherface but of course that was not something she was successful at because back in those days leatherface had a mask and in those days you know it was a lot harder to find someone who was just wearing a mask i guess and since he was wearing a mask no one knew what he looked like so he's been undetected for the past 50 years sally is basically a disposable character she's unimportant by the grand scheme of things because you don't really spend too much time with her she's in this lower stroll type of role that feels useless by the end because leatherface is a character who doesn't even remember her when they come face to face it feels very uh unsatisfying to, to anyone who might have been wanting to see that but i can't think of anyone who was wanting to see this because of the fact that sally in and of herself was very paper thin as a character up until she became the final girl of the original film the characters from the original weren't even the strongest aspects of that they were very paper thin the strongest aspects of the original texas chainsaw was that constant feeling of dread the con consistency with its tone the direction the overall direction the cinematography the score which i would also say is very bone chilling in this latest entry it gets you on the edge of your seat it keeps you engaged it makes those those horrifying moments and those tense filled moments a lot more impactful when they happen on screen in this latest entry but sally in this movie she is a waste of a character she is this is how you don't handle a previous final girl in my honest opinion this would be a horrible way to bring back a final girl because she ultimately dies her death doesn't mean anything and her presence in the overall film doesn't mean anything it's a very lackluster type of Lori Strode role that she fulfills the new characters Melody and her sister Lila are a lot more compelling that sibling dynamic is much more compelling it's an improvement from Toad Pooper's classic with Sally and her brother uh, the, Lila is a school shooting victim survivor she is being forced along into this business venture with her sister Melody who feels like Lila can't take care of herself she doesn't want her staying at home with their father she wants to be able to keep an eye on her she's a little bit of an overprotective sister some moments of dialogue will also show that she has an attitude towards gun holders I thought that was a little bit cringy but the, but the relationship between them overall I think will be enough for certain people to grow invested in them I will say that I wish we got a lot more moments where they could just be um 
sisters with each other where they were spending time with we just get this individual stuff with them for a lot of it and they're on their own facing leatherface up until the final moments where they come together this is mostly melody that's on her own facing leatherface but when they finally come together uh there's a lot of emotional moments that are not fully fulfilled or reaching the heights that they want because not enough development was spent with that bond and i will say the performances in this movie are good very good actually the gore is good the effects the practical effects of this movie i think are going to be very impressive to a lot of people the overall look of leatherface i was not a big fan of that my favorite moment in this film had to be from the bus sequence with the neon lights and the blood being mixed into that i was just in awe of that scene i will say there are some brilliant shots throughout the film it is very fast paced the movie does again have those cookie cutter characters who are just here to die you will feel more attached to the sisters more than anything but again even them themselves they're not fully fleshed out how i would hope they would be the the movies my biggest issue again was just how they handled sally and just the paper thin characters and the dialogue at times yes is a bit cringy there are moments in the film where i was just rolling my eyes i will say that the cringiest line yes was that cancel culture line from the trailer but the bus sequence overall was very good Leatherface is also the fastest and most agile and strongest 70 year old I've ever seen portrayed on screen in a horror film. I mean, he is gunning on these teenage girls. Uh, it's quite hilarious at times. And honestly, I can see people feeling like this is a bit of betrayal of the character of Leatherface. In the original, Leatherface seems like he was only killing out of pressure from his family and the other people around him. Whereas this one is more like a Friday the 13th vibe. He starts killing because the woman who appears to be his mother was killed off. And that's what triggered him to start going on this murderous rampage the gore and some of the kills i feel like are going to be uh talked about i don't think they're very memorable but they are very brutal there's one instance that's not necessarily the killing moment but it's a it's a injury that happens to a character that i'm sure will make a lot of people wince the movie overall is very fun i had fun with it i just don't think it's going to be a movie that i could see told hooper saying is a good texas chainsaw sequel but it is falling in line with a lot of the current trends that you see these days and it addresses it and it has those cringy moments because of it the sibling bond between the two leads it's effective enough to get you invested in their survival there's a lot of subverting of your expectations as well overall i would have to give this a six out of ten i did enjoy it i had a good time with it but it does have its problems and i would say the the cons of it kind of outweigh the pros for me but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links on all social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video